morning good morning welcome back to my channel here's another not planned video so today i'm actually going to my university for the first time since since a while now because we're starting back next week next monday today is wednesday but today is like the welcome week for the new students and there's this freshers fair where you can basically get like a bunch of free stuff and free food and my mum's going to the uni anyway she goes to my uni as well to study another course but anyway she has her like transition day into her third year and so that's like her final year anyway so my mum's gonna be there anyway so I'm gonna meet her there and then we're coming back together yeah I just thought I'd go might as well get back into like campus life and also I might, I might like go around the fair, see what there is and and then sit somewhere and just read my book a bit. So I think I need some time away from my laptop because I've just been using it too much these past couple of days, weeks. Even in Germany I was like editing throughout the trip and yeah I need a break from it. So if I like leave it here while I go to uni I think it's gonna be a perfect option and yeah and I do need to like finish that book as well I really want to finish it before the end of September what is it called you and me on vacation by Emily Henry it's actually called something else as well um, apparently it's called like people we meet on vacation I don't know which one's the original title, but apparently, like, the publishers in the UK said it's gonna sell better if you call it something else. I don't know how true that is, but basically, apparently, the book has got two titles. Yeah, I'm not even halfway through it yet. I've started it a couple of days ago now, but I just can't seem to get more than a few pages in at once. It's a good book, that's not why. I just, I've just been a bit busy and I've had a lot of motivation to film, edit. I tried the new editing software or an editing app that I'm really loving at the moment. I also changed my YouTube up a bit. So yeah, to me, it just looks a bit more professional and perfect right now. I don't know if other people agree, but I I like it. I like the way it looks now. Um, I changed like the banner and the profile picture and yeah, it just looks better now, in my opinion. I just had a lot of inspiration to, like, create content and just, um, you know, do stuff with my channel. And obviously I'm very happy about that, but on the downside, I still haven't finished that book. So we're gonna try and get some reading done today at uni while I wait for my mum. And yeah, and hopefully some free stuff as well. And I thought I'd take you along. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to vlog at uni or just film in general, but yeah, we'll see. There's probably going to be like lots of people, so I might just not get my phone out at all. But once I like find a space to sit and read, I'll probably like do something better because... Oh, I did want to add in here because I was going to add it like at the end of my last video, but... I think I missed it out. So obviously I'm starting uni again. I know it's only going to be my second year, but it's still like an important year. And I have always been very academic in the sense that, you know, if if I can't concentrate on uni because of something else, then I'll get rid of the something else. And I definitely do not want to get rid of this YouTube channel. I'm only just starting out and I'm loving it. So I do want to keep up um, consistent content. So my kind of plan has been um, is a video like Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. But I think that might be a bit too much. So maybe Monday, Thursday? I don't know. Let me know down below what you actually want, like what days. I mean, once I like get the video done, I could like schedule it any day. I usually, I usually try to do it like in advance so I don't like stress out on the day like oh my god I need to get this done. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what days you'd like because I was thinking Monday, Thursday. Okay, let's just say Monday, Thursday. Give me some input. <laughs> 
okay let me know what you think and yeah i am sorry it's gonna be a bit less content because this month i i think this month has been my busiest so far or has it not i don't know i feel like i posted so many videos this month and i feel like i've improved so much as well i don't want to say it like um again i'm not a professional no way but i i have improved i can feel myself like slowly improving and that's definitely a good thing if you do have any ideas for like october november december or just in general please comment down below because i need some also do you like this hoodie it's from the british psychological society I got it last year for like being an ambassador for them and I freaking love it. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I'll pick you up in a bit. Okay, this is bad lighting and a kind of bad angle, but we're going with it. Um, I got some book mail that I thought I'd show you and then after I'll update you on what went down today because I didn't think I was very good at filming at all at uni. <laughs> right, so I got two packages. This is like a huge one and this is one book I'm guessing. So these are all books and as far as i'm aware there should be like four all together in these packages so let's go with this one first the one book or i assume it's one book it could be two for all i know okay okay <laughs> this is hardback oh my god okay <laughs> i did not expect that did I buy a hardback? I thought I bought a paperback. Oh, okay. So this is X for my um, A to Z reading challenge. And it's hardback. I did not expect that, but I kind of, I kind of like it. You know, I, I kind of actually like it. I don't usually like hardback covers um, because the cover the way it like moves like this bit the way it like comes off it annoys me um but when i read i always take it out anyway but on the shelf it looks nice Ooh, oh that's pretty cool ah. okay that's the first book and then we've got a whole bag i have never received a bag this big before um, oh, it's sticky. Okay. Okay. okay, this is the more fun one. Well, the X one is fun, but I don't really know what that's about yet. So, <gasps> oh my god, am I holding this? To I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> there you go. House of Sky and Breath look at how massive that is so this one i've actually read already this year this is the second book in the series which i'm a bit mad at myself for not buying the first one and then the second one but i mean i bought the third one first because i pre-ordered that back in august july 
um yeah that's been pre-ordered then that's coming in january but i was hoping like by the time that comes i can get all of the other ones so here's number two in the series in the crescent city series and oh my god so this is my first ever actual physical copy of any of sarah j mass's books that's like actually mine and i'm in love with it oh my god <laughs> now i can spend time like rereading these books you know when i borrow it from my library app um it's only like mine for a certain bit of time and then i have to give it back and then i have to borrow it again and these are like very popular books so you don't get to like get it that often um but yeah this is my first book from her and um i want to get the throne of glass and akatar series as well but that's that's a story for another time because they cost a lot right next book okay oh okay twisted games is that what it's called okay this is the second book I hope it's the second book. So I read I read Twisted Love um just recently and I bought Twisted Games because I enjoyed the first book and I wanted to carry it on well while the like the plot of the first one was still on my head because I don't like too much time between like books that are I don't want to say not that memorable but yeah not that memorable so like with the fantasy book that's different because like plus this is like huge <laughs> compared to that <laughs> um, with this one there was like a lot of plot a lot of things that were going on and that just sticks in my mind more more and with this one it's like a romance novel and there's like little details that i might just forget over time and yeah i i don't think that's anything to do with the author that's just me <laughs> oh it's shiny that's nice very happy with this and the last book i can't wait 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 I can't actually think of what this is. Wait, what was the last book I bought? The... No, I don't actually know what this book is. I knew those. What else did I buy? Oh, okay, let's see. What's this? Oh! Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Scott. So this has obviously been very popular in many places and um, I think the third book just came out and that's why it's like so hype, hyped um, and this is the first book I hope, I really hope this is the first book but I think it's the first book and um, I think there's two more but yeah, I this is like, apparently it's a romance novel, but it's like a bigger one. So with this, if you can see, with this, this is a bit smaller. I don't know how much you can see that, but is it smaller? Yeah, it's a bit smaller. Um, so romance novels are usually around, I want to say 300 pages. And I think this is a bit more than that. Why are there no page numbers? Wait. Oh, because that was... <laughs> that was a different thing. Yeah, this is like 500 pages. So that's like 200 pages more. <laughs> Which, um, yeah, it's a bit longer than a usual romance book. And that's why people got, like, hyped over it. Because... It was longer but it was good apparently so yeah this is just another book that um social media made me buy and 
I just really want to know what it's about and if it's like as good as they say because as I said in my was it my August reads video yeah my August wrap up video I said that I didn't have any five star reads that month and I was a bit disappointed so <laughs> for September I was kind of like okay let's buy all these really good books that everyone talks about surely one of them is gonna you know be my favorite and be a five star read so yeah this is another one of those buys and i'm saying this now no more books until oh i don't know until until next year i'm not allowed to buy any more books until january the 1st 2024 okay because i spent too much money on books this year and i just built up a huge physical tbr and I also have my library app where I read books and listen to audiobooks. So yeah, January the 1st, that's the first day I'm allowed to buy another book. Do you think we can keep up to that? <laughs> um, hold me accountable, guys. Hold me accountable. So this is the finished version. I'm really sorry, this lighting is not giving these books justice, but the covers are so pretty and... Yeah, you just can't see it with this lighting. Maybe like that. Yeah, you just can't see it. But yeah, those are all the books I got. Yeah, I last updated you before I actually left for uni. So I actually missed the first bus I was originally gonna go with. The next bus was coming in like 10 minutes, so it wasn't that bad. But I missed the first one, and then I popped into um, Peacock's, which is like a clothes shop. I found a really cool coat. And then I didn't buy it, I was just like, okay, I'll come back. And then I went on the bus, went to uni, and then I realised that I can't take my uni bus to uni from the bus station, I have to walk, because I didn't have my uni card on me, and if you don't have, like, your uni card on you, you have to, like, pay for the ride. And he might have let me on, because, like, the bus drivers know people, you know, if if you get the bus all the time they know your face so they might have let me on but i was just like oh well, i don't want to risk it so i just walked and i actually walked through this like park area that i always went around last year so that was a really cool new experience it was like empty and had a bunch of pretty flowers and i'm hoping the trees over there will like change colors leaves and you know become more autumn-y, autumn-like fall vibes. Um, I'm really missing it because I haven't seen many like reddish, orange, orangey, yellowy leaves and yeah I just want that. And then I got to uni, I went through like the tables at Freshers Fair, it was very crowded in there. Basically I didn't get many free stuff. I wasn't really disappointed, like a lot of places had like um cool setups and um, you know good stuff going on i just didn't really vibe with it as much as i did last year this year uh, i actually stood in the queue for the domino's pizza so last year there was this huge queue and if you like got to the end of it you got like a domino's pizza like a whole little pizza for free and that's why there was the huge queue but like by the time I wanted to stand in the queue they ran out and then this year I was like you know what this year I'm queuing I'm getting that pizza this year so I stood in the queue for like 15 minutes maybe longer and I finally made it to them and it turns out they were, lo they were only giving out slices this time like slices of pizza and then at the end you could like spin a wheel and either win a free pizza or like win a pi win win pizza for the whole year or something along those lines. And I didn't spin the wheel. <laughs> I kind of just got my slice of pizza and left. But a girl next to me after me, um, she actually won the the 
pizza for the whole year and I was like oh my god girl you are gonna have a fun year <laughs> yeah I don't know how that actually works like how many pizzas are you allowed I, do they just give you all the pizzas you want for free for the year I don't know but it sounded really cool and I, I think she was very happy I also signed up to some societies so last year I only signed up to the psychology society and this year they didn't actually exist as far as I'm aware because the people who were running it like left uni and no one like took over. Actually last year I like signed up and never actually went to any of their like social events so yeah, last year was not a year for me socialising, basically. I just, yeah, I just didn't socialise. And this year I was like, right, I'm going to sign up to societies and actually do is go to these things. And yeah, I, I signed up to a book club. I can't remember what it's called. Better, better read than death or something along those lines it has a cool name but i can't remember um it was something about better something than death or dead yeah something along those lines i'll i'll pop it up on the screen but basically i um i saw that and i was like are you guys a book club and um the person was like yes we are but you don't like you don't you don't get forced to like you know, have to finish a book and we meet on like Saturdays and I, I was already signing the paper like yeah, hit, hit me up. <laughs> so I'm hoping to go to some of those events and it would be really fun to read like some books as a group or like if, if like they choose a book and then we all have to read it and then discuss it. I mean, that's what I assume this is about, but I don't know, we'll see. I I just really want to, you know, engage with like-minded people about books. Yeah, I can't remember what others I signed up to, but I put my name down for a few and they'll be in touch and I'll see what I'll go to. But the book club is like the main one I'm hoping to engage with this year. Then when I finished at like going around the fair, I got, oh, I got two tote bags. I was very happy with that. One of them has this really weird smell though, which I'm not sure what to do with other than just not take it with me anywhere and like not put it near any of my clothes. But anyway, yeah, I got two tote bags as well for free, which was really cool. Where was I? Oh yeah, after I finished um, walking around, I went to the university library and kind of found a space, a little like cubicle on the quiet floor. Yeah, so we have like different floors, like the the bottom floor is like group study, first floor is like study. I don't know what the first floor is. Is the first floor group study? Um, I think, okay, maybe the first floor is group study the second is quiet floor and then the last one is like silent floor so that's like in terms of noise level just going down as you go up and um yeah i went on the quiet floor those have like these little cubicles that i just really love and um it was pretty empty because you know uni's only just started and people don't really do work yet this early some people do but you know not most people it wasn't like exam season or anything so there was a lot of space and i just sat down and i read my book and i haven't managed to finish it but i did get like a chunk of it a chunk of it done so like there's not a lot left basically which i'm very happy with also i started a new book today an audiobook. I started listening to a new book called Chim Paradox. I think that's like the title. Um and I really like it so far. It's it has like a it had like a psychological intro to it, like comparing like human and chimp and whatever to the brain and like different parts of the brain and yeah, I just really like that aspect. 
I don't know how it's gonna go moving forward but so far I'm enjoying it and I'm interested in listening more to it. Oh I had lunch, I had lunch in the library, there's like a little cafe where you can buy food and I had like a Kore Korean barbecue chicken with rice I honestly never had that before but it was great and then I did more reading and then I met up with my mum and then we came home no we didn't we went to get the coat <laughs> we went back to um, the peacocks where I found that good coat because I really I just fell in love with it at first sight and I was just like I, I need a coat anyway so yeah I got a new coat and I don't wanna, I can't be bothered getting off now and showing yet, but I'll show you some other time. It's like coming up to half nine, ten o'clock now, so I'm probably gonna go to bed. I hope you enjoyed this little random day in my life <laughs> video. Give it a like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see more of, and see you next time. Mm -hmm.